Welcome back to Promoter Crossover. I'm going to pass it on to Marky Mark to tell us what's up in the NBA. All right, let's do it up, right? So we're going to go straight up. What are your current insights right now? Because we haven't really talked much about them throughout the whole season right now mm. at Pinoy Crossover. But I know that like, Norman is a big Ra- Ra- Raptor fan. So mm. I want to hear, like, what are your current insights right now with the Raptors early in the season? Because, like, right now they're currently fourth. And they just had, a, you know, a big game, big wins against Houston and New Orleans. Mm-hmm. And, and a lot of their bigs are playing well, like JV, Siakam, yep. Pirtle, and, and Ibaka. And, and what do you guys think about that? And what do you also think about... Lowry and DeRozan, as well as you know their new acquisition with CJ Miles, and also their new newly signed extension for Powell. Mm. I'll, let, I'll let Norman go. I think Norman. Uh, first when I like since, since opening day, the first thing I noticed was the ball movement. Mm. So, in my opinion, they they're moving the ball a lot more than last season. Yeah. Um, you know, sharing the rock, and um, we also have um, the addition of CJ Miles is huge. He's been playing shooting, uh, yeah. shooting. He's, he's actually a, he's a reliable three point shooter. Like yeah. he's not just like Terrence Ross. You, you know, every, I don't, if you guys remember him, like yeah. every time he shoot, be like, oh, I, <laughs> I think I don't know if it was going in. Yeah. But every time CJ shoots it, I just know like it's like money. Yeah. Like, you know what I'm saying? So adding him was huge, man. Yeah. And he has he has like so, like confidence. And like, when he shoots, like he'll shoot. Like you know what I'm saying? Like you won't. Is he a lefty? He's a lefty, He's a lefty. yeah. <laughs> Shout out to the lefties right there. You're a lefty too. Yeah, that's why I can agree. Oh I've always been agreeing with him because we know lefties can shoot. In yeah. Sense, yeah. I'm the minority now. Well, what do you think? You're, I know you, you fall, you're the fantasy guy. What do you think about, um, I guess, stats-wise about the team or like the direction in, there's going? In general, mm. like, like he mentioned, like this is something probably I haven't said in a very long time watching the Raptors play. They've been fun to watch. Mm-hmm. Like, oh. not, you know, because I've always been a big, you know, on ball movement and, and, and just, you know, the ball just moving around and also being shared. And, and, and the last few years, it's been a lot of ISO basketball. That's yeah, yeah. Been, it hasn't been fun to watch. Like, I know they've been winning games, but, like, mm-hmm. it, hasn't been, it hasn't had any success in the, mm-hmm. uh, in the postseason. And I think that, you know, they mentioned that in the summer there was going to be a change in the culture and a change yeah. in the way they play. And it took a little bit, you know, it was a little slow in the beginning to kind of implement it, but now they have it. And you can see, I know that, you know, a lot of people are worried about uh, Lowry's numbers are down yeah. this year, but it's because his usage rate has gone down as well because he's not as, you know, he's not as ball dominant anymore as he was, that, as, as he had to be right, right. because mm-hmm. of the way they played. Right, but now he's more of, you know, you've seen him, a lot of catch and shoot, yeah. a lot of spot ups, a lot of the corners are coming up to him. Mm-hmm. And, and it's helping a lot of their offense because now they have their bigs a bit more mobile now. Right. Mm-hmm. And they're, you know, they have up and coming stars, like up and coming players like uh, DeLon Wright. You know, I think it was a good acquisition for mm-hmm. them to get rid of, uh, not get rid, but to trade Corey Joseph yeah, yeah. To, to allow DeLon Wright and uh, Van, Fleet Van Fleet to kind of emerge. And the signing of a power, we're not sure yet how good he can be because he's been struggling. Yeah. But it's good to have CJ Miles because he's mm-hmm. kind of the rock off the bench that they need, that spark. Yep. Um, it's good that they get rid of Demar- Car- Demari Carroll finally. <laughs> <laughs> that was my like, you know, favorite kind of... <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> what are your thoughts though? Like, What's your final... Like, well, I don't watch, I don't watch Raptors a lot, <laughs> yeah. so I'm going to be very honest with you. <laughs> yeah. But like, I guess the, the rookie OG or... O- yeah, OG yeah, has OG, been a surprise. Like the steal. Like, yeah. like a lot of like everyone, all the, like, all the teams that could have had him yeah. and all the skill sets that he's showing in the Raptors, like he's such a good... Like, oh, he can no. guard a lot of positions. Like, he's... Like, I'm, I'm happy. I wrote that in an article yeah. saying that this guy could be the steal yeah. because he had an ACL injury and everyone thought... Yeah, I heard oh, about that. If yeah. he didn't have the ACL injury, he would have been a, a top 10 pick. Mm. Really? So, so in a sense, because of the fact that he was so versatile defensively, yeah, yeah, and, and he's long. He's like six eight, man. He's, he's long. Built. He's what? long. If you watch him, so that's why they're bringing him slowly. They're not trying to, you know, restrict his minutes because yeah, of his yeah, ACL yeah. injury. But if if he didn't have the ACL injury, he would have been the top oh. ten, top fifteen pick. He so, looks good so far. He looks yeah. really good. What he do you hope really that the Raptors continue doing? I guess just like uh, continue to move the ball. That's please, like <laughs> please, please. <laughs> yeah. because you know. Yeah. Like I've always said, like yeah. how you play is how you your that's your game. So yeah. I feel like if they start, you know, struggling, if they start hitting, like you know, some you know ups and downs throughout the season, right? Yeah. They start struggling, they might revert back to their old ways of playing, well, and they which just is go scary. back to their habits. Yeah. I would be scared because they've been playing for so long together. So right. yeah. if they struggle, they might go back to their ways. Mm. But like 
they're much better like this. They're mm -hmm. much better. How about, how about you, Norm? Uh, you just continue want? to win, man. They're on a two-game yeah. winning streak. Mm -hmm. Could have yeah. been three with that Boston, but DeMar yeah. missed that shot. That, that, was, a shot that was, was a shot, too. That was a shot. That was his bread and butter, one-on-one. -on -one. Yeah. Free throw line, yeah. mid-range. Yeah. yeah. Let's finish it off, though, with okay. last topic. Yeah, what do you guys think? Because right now we've just had recent acquisition by the Bucks yeah. to get Bledsoe to kind of move a step closer in the in the East. But who do you think right now is the team that's going to make the next big move, you know, for playoff or title contention? Oh, okay, I'm just going to joke here. I, I just think Hayward has to eat some sensu beans. <laughs> what is that going to do? What is that going to do? <laughs> <laughs> Recover really well. No, I'm just saying Boston's playing so nice right now. Yeah. And it's so it's it's crazy to see them, like, Going on, on that win streak without Gordon Hayward. That's crazy. Uh, and, um, and then I guess other than that, maybe, um, I guess Lakers. Why, why is Luol Deng still there? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> why is Luol Deng still there? And that's They're my, just contracts, you know. Okay. Why is Mozgov so big, yeah. like, you know? You know what I'm going to I'm going to say the Knicks, man. I hope, yeah. I think, I think they're going to make a, like a trade mm -hmm. to add more firepower to what they have already. They've been yeah. playing well and. Yeah. Hopefully they make a move. They make a move, yeah, I hope so too. Yeah, my 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 pick is actually uh, the New Orleans Pelicans. I think if they just add a, a legit shooter like a yeah. threat, they would be like yeah. their best Two shooter bigs, yeah. is the Marcus Cousins, and he's their big. Wow. And their second best shooter is is Anthony Davis. That tells you how talented this team is. And they've been then those two's been doing so much that you know uh, I know they just got Rondo back. So it's good to have a playmaker and now they can put Drew Holly off the ball. He's more of a scorer really yeah, than the playmaker. Just last night they did that last night. Exactly. Yeah. And that, you know, they played well against the Raptors, but I feel like that's a good start for them. If they just acquire a really good three and D player mm -hmm. to 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 complement Davis and Cousins and Rondo and, and Drew Holiday, that's I think that's perfect for them. Mm. If you were a GM, yeah. is there anyone on your mind right now? That, that would Yeah. Oh man, uh right now? Who would be a really good? I just put you player. on the spot, but I'm thinking right now of a good three. Like I mean, we'll uh, to add to um, yeah to, to the Pelicans, yeah. the ones that they don't. I mean, they've been trying to get rid of. Yeah. Maybe Wilson Chandler is not. It's not bad from Denver. Oh, he'd be a great one. Actually, he would yeah. be a good you know addition. Uh, I'm thinking like Chris Middleton. But then they oh, Middleton, yeah, get Middleton they wouldn't really get rid yeah. of him, right? Yeah, that's true. I mean, from a team that like don't even really need their players, maybe. Oh, they're okay. Uh, maybe from Phoenix Suns, get someone from the Phoenix Suns, like T.J. Warren. T.J. Warren would be like mm, not a bad yeah. pick, right? Yeah, um, they just need like another, threat, like another, yeah. another threat kind of yeah. thing. I'm trying to think of a real, uh, of a perfect. All threat, right, but it's well, hey, too hard. Time's running, <laughs> running down. What would you want to say? We gotta end this now. That's gonna be in Mark's mind for a while. So, <laughs> Mike, Mark, what would you want to say? C.J. Miles. <laughs> <There you go. laughs> no, not C.J. C.J. Miles, go to Pelicans. Okay, well, what do you want to say as we end off the show? Any I just want to say thank you guys for watching us. Mm -hmm. You know, I hope you guys like our new set because this is gonna be it. I know Norman's been, you know, yeah. we were big on it. I was. I couldn't stop. Very really much still it. begging for the set. Norman, yeah. would you want to do any shout outs? Anything you'd like to say? Uh, shout out to my Jersey City squad, man. I brought the jersey. And uh, yeah, man. Nico, Chris, Carlo. Uh, other Nico. Marlo. <laughs> Corey. Yeah. Uh, who am I? Coulette. Ooh. And uh, yeah. The Jersey City squad, man. Piso, piso. Hey, hey. <laughs> shout out to my mom. Shout out to everyone that watches the show. Shout out to everyone that follows our social media platforms. Till then, stay balling.